Okay, so as a child, around 11 years old, I met a kid in school. His name was Travis Page. He was a very shy and timid kid, and we went to Roller Rink together at Roller Town in Visalia, and we hung out one day, and we were talking about guitars, and I realized that this kid can play music, and so do I. So he was the only little kid I knew at the time, other than maybe a few others, that played music like me. So I found out he lived around the corner from me and we started hanging out every day. Well, I go over to his house and I realize his dad is uh, Jimmy Page's half-brother, who is Doug Page, and um, he's related to the guy from Jimmy from uh, Led Zeppelin. And so these kids had a, a famous dad, basically. Their dad's brother was famous. So a lot of like legends used to go over to their house and jam all the time. Like Alan Lee from Moody's Blues, uh, Brian from Pantera, and like a lot of a lot of people. And so I'm over there all the time, hanging out, and you know, all of a sudden, uh, I uh, one of the guys, Alan Lee from the Moody's Blues, he asked me if I wrote this song called Raspberry Swirls, and I said, yeah. And he goes, what other songs have you written? I told him all the songs I've written. I showed him my songs. And he goes, these songs are legendary. Ooh. He goes, honest to God, Chris, you're going to be a legend. You will be a legend. You are way far beyond the, even though your talent hasn't reached that point to where you can do all of this awesome stuff with the guitar yet, you're going to get there. But your songwriting ability is amazing. And so, you know, he was just letting me know about my songwriting ability and, and how I need to stay away from girls and drugs and that I would be a legend. Well, he was right. You know, that's the kind of the curse of the rock star is getting involved with drugs and women. You're around it all the time and, you, you know, thank God nowadays I can look back and say I love Jesus and I play music for God now. And that's my message to everybody. Don't get involved with drugs and women. If you've got a talent, just focus on your talent and perfect your craft and let Jesus guide you. Let's go. Woo. Drugs.